Hi and welcome. In today's video I'm going to do a quick unboxing and I'm going to run a, kind of a neat demo on the Silicon Labs Wonder Gecko Starter Kit. This is the EFM32-STK3800 Starter Kit. Uh, we've got these in stock here at SymmetryElectronics.com. Um, I'm going to show you uh, what comes in the box and then we're going to run kind of a neat little demo on this board. Uh, so what I'll start doing is I'll start by opening the box up here. Of course you get your uh, demo board. Uh, you can see what's all on the board here. It's kind of a neat demo board, not very big, compact. Uh, gives you a lot of functionality in a small board. You've of course got a uh, uh, coin cell battery holder here so this can run off of coin cell batteries for power. There's a power selector switch right here. You can choose from battery power, USB power, or background debug mode. Here's your USB port uh, for the background debug mode or USB power. Uh, there's your EFM32 Wonder Gecko processor there. There's a little screen printed area right here for capacitive touch and then you've got your expansion header. Uh, there's a biometric board that runs off of this that I'll be doing a later video and kind of show you the uh, kind of the cool features of that as well. But for now we'll just focus on this board. So I'm going to switch the power switch over to battery and you can see it very quickly boots up and it'll run the factory demo that's on here that kind of shows you the different power modes of the Wonder Gecko and uh, what it can do driving the LCD by itself. For now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up via the USB cable to the PC behind me and we're going to run Simplicity Studio. We're going to put the capacitive touch demo on here and I'll show you how this uh, little screen printed capacitive touch area works. Okay, so now what I've done is I've hooked the uh, USB cable up uh, to the PC. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the Wonder Gecko board. Take just a moment here. Uh, now you can see on the PC that um, it's going to pull up file for the Wonder Gecko board. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Uh, over here in the corner you can see the device hardware that's detected is the EFM32 Wonder Gecko starter kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the demos. I'm going to click on this. It brings up a list of all the available demos for this board. What I'm going to do is go over here, scroll down a little ways farther, and here's one called Capacitive Touch Example. I'm going to click on that a single time. It gives you a description of what it is. I'm going to click Finish. Now it's running in the background. Now you see it's programming the flash on the Wonder Gecko board. Once it's complete, now we see the Wonder Gecko board. Hopefully I can get this at an angle you can see. There we go. So there's nothing on the display. As soon as I touch this, now you can see cap sense and you can see it increasing as I slide my finger across to the right. And then as I slide my finger back, you can see it decreasing to zero. And then it enters a low power mode and it's sleeping. Now we've seen just how simple it is to take the Wonder Gecko board, use your PC, Simplicity Studio, and update the flash with any demo that comes with Simplicity Studio or any code that you've written yourself to the board. Now you can see I've moved the switch over to battery mode uh, now that it's no longer connected to the PC via USB. And I can activate the capacitive sensor again uh, using the battery. I know this is a pretty simple demo, but it shows just how quick and easy it is to get the Wonder Gecko board out of the box and up and running. Next time you need a uh, Wonder Gecko board or any other Silicon Labs products, go to symmetryelectronics.com or click the links below. Thanks for watching.